Star Wars, The Last Jedi. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, the evil First Order was taking over the galaxy. The brave resistance tried to stop them, but First Order Star Destroyers had the heroes on the run. The daring pilot, Poe Dameron, and his squadron of X-Wing fighters defended the resistance fleet, allowing them to escape into hyperspace. Meanwhile, General Leia had sent a young hero named Rey on a special mission to the distant planet of Octu to find Leia's brother, Luke Skywalker. Luke was the last Jedi, a master of, powerful en- of a powerful energy field called the Force. Leia hoped Luke would help defeat the First Order once and for all. Just when it seemed that the Resistance was safe, the First Order found them. The villains had a special machine that could track the Resistance anywhere. As long as the machine existed, the Resistance would never be safe. General Leia's son, Kylo Ren, led the First Order attack on the Resistance fleet. Kylo was once a student of Jedi Master Luke Skywalker, but the Supreme Leader of the First Order, Snoke, had turned Kylo Ren to evil. The Resistance hero, Finn, used to be a stormtrooper and hated the First Order, but Finn was worried about his friend Rey, so he decided to leave the battle to find her. When Finn tried to board an escape pod, a technician named Rose zapped him with an electroshock prod. She told Finn that Rey could take care of herself. The Resistance needed him. Together, Rose and Finn came up with a plan to stop the First Order's tracking machine, but the machine was on the biggest and most dangerous ship in the First Order fleet. They needed needed help to get past the security systems. The two heroes blasted off to the beautiful city of Cantobite to find the master codebreaker to help them. Poe Dameron's droid BB-8 decided to help too. Meanwhile, Ray's mission was not going well. Luke refused to help the Resistance. He wouldn't train Ray in the Force. Ray's friend and co-pilot, Chewbacca, made himself at home on the island, though. The Wookiee even made some new friends. But everything changed when Luke's droid, R2-D2, showed him an old hologram of Leia asking for help. Luke might not have listened to Ray, but he couldn't ignore his own sister. So Luke agreed to teach Ray. Ray began training every day with Luke, but as Ray grew stronger, She started connecting with Kylo Ren across the galaxy through the Force. Rey began to wonder if she could save Kylo from the dark side. At Canto Bight, Rose and Finn had crashed their ship on a beach, and the police threw them in jail before they could find the Master Codebreaker. But inside their cell, the two heroes met a strange man named DJ, who helped them escape. Rose and Finn jumped onto a speedy creature called a Fathier, and raced through the city away from the police until they reached a cliff. Rose and Finn were stuck. Zoom! DJ and BB-8 had arrived in a ship to rescue Rose and Finn. DJ said he could sneak them onto the First Order's main ship for a price. As DJ flew Finn, Rose, and BB-8 towards Supreme Leader Snoke's ship, Ray was growing anxious on Octu. She wanted to help her friends in the Resistance and try to save Kylo Ren. Luke still would not leave the island, so Rey climbed aboard the Millennium Falcon and Chewbacca and R2-D2 and flew away. Kylo Ren was waiting for Rey on the First Order's ship. She told him to leave the First Order and join the Resistance, but Kylo told Rey that he thought she would be turned to the dark side. He brought Rey before his evil master. Come closer, child, Snoke snarled, pulling Ray toward him with the force. Meanwhile, DJ helped Finn, Rose, and BB-8 sneak onto Snoke's ship. But before the heroes could disable the tracking machines, they were discovered by Captain Phasma and her stormtroopers. DJ cut a deal to escape, but the stormtroopers captured Finn and Rose. Just when it seemed that the heroes were doomed, a big ATST walker started firing all around the ship. BB-8 had taken control of the walker to save his friends. Finn grabbed an electrostaff and fought off the stormtroopers. 
He even defeated his old commander, Captain Phasma. Then Finn, Rose, and BB-8 jumped into the First Order shuttle and blasted off to freedom. Not far away, Kylo Ren watched Snoke hurting Rey. Kylo knew he had to do something, so he destroyed his evil master. Kylo and Rey even worked together to defeat Snoke's powerful Red Guards. But instead of joining the Resistance, Kylo asked Rey to join the First Order and help him take over the galaxy. Rey knew that she and Kylo would never be on the same side, so she took off with Chewbacca on the Falcon to find the Resistance. Meanwhile, Finn, Rose, and BB-8 had rejoined the Resistance on the planet of Crate. The heroes were hiding in an abandoned base in a big cave. But soon, Kylo Ren and the First Order arrived with gigantic ATM-6 walkers. Poe, Finn, Rose, and a small group of Resistance fighters tried to defend the base in old ski speeders, but they were outnumbered and outpowered. Luckily, Rey and Chewbacca arrived in the Millennium Falcon just in time, blasting First Order TIE fighters. But the First Order was too strong, and the Resistance had to retreat into the cave. When all hope seemed lost, a robed figure appeared. Luke Skywalker had returned to help the Resistance. Rey's determination and bravery had inspired him to join the fight. Kylo was furious. He drew his lightsaber and charged onto the battlefield to destroy his old teacher. While Luke battled Kylo, Poe and his friends searched for a way out of the cave. They followed strange crystal foxes through tunnels deep inside the cave. The foxes slipped into a small opening between giant boulders, but it wasn't big enough for the heroes to escape. They were trapped. Rey sensed that her friends were in trouble. She and Chewie flew the Falcon through the cave, through cave after cave, searching for the resistance. TIE fighters tried to stop them, but they were no match for Chewie's fast flying. Chewbacca and Rey landed the Falcon outside the cave. They quickly found their friends trapped behind the boulders. Rey used the force to lift the enormous rocks blocking their escape. Everyone was free. Suddenly, during his duel with Kylo, Luke vanished. The Jedi Master had never left Octu Island. He had used the Force to project an image of himself on Crate to distract Kylo so the Resistance could escape. But Luke had used up all of his energy to save the Resistance, and so he became one with the Force and was at peace. Soon all of the heroes were blasting off in the Falcon to safety. Ray asked Leia how the Resistance could possibly defeat the First Order. Now, we have everything we need, Leia said, gesturing to all their friends surrounding them. Ray knew Leia was right. As long as the heroes had help, they could bring peace to the galaxy together. <laughs>